Can you see the calls coming in? Hello everyone. I hope you are doing very well today. My name is Joseph. I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer and today we are going to be diving right deep into call queues. So call queues help to route calls to people in your organization who can help with particular issue or question. Okay, so call queues are distributed one at a time to people in their queue who are known as agents. So today we are going to be looking at these users as my agents in my organization, Grady, Adele and Evren. So these three persons are the ones that are going to be attending to support requests that are coming from my customer. And the company itself is Pillars Concept. So I'm going to call it Pillars Support Queue. Okay, so what are we going to do to get a call queue for my organization? One is that I have to create a team where this call queue is going to, uh, where these users, these agents are going to be. Then I create a resource account and then I will license the resource account and I obtain phone number for the resource account and create the call queue with this message when they are waiting on the queue. So that's how and what we are going to do. Having said that, so we will come to teams to first of all create the team that's the first thing we want to do right looking at this place we want to first of all create a team for the call queue and want to call it pillars support call queue right pillar support queue is okay so we we'll come to teams on the signing page and then there is icon up here that is showing plus so this is join or create a team so we we'll click on it and then we'll come to create a team and the name of the team is going to be pillars support queue take note and it's going to be private team okay so i click on create and then i am going to add these members of the queue grady adele and Avery to that queue right great work the team is created now it is time to add user to the queue so i'm going to bring in grady uh grady come on yes and then i'm going to bring the next user who is a uh, adele okay and then the next thing is um even but you need to know that all these users for them to be able to pick call from the queue they must all be enterprise voice enabled that means they should be able to make calls using teams pstn or using pstn in teams what that means is that they should have die pad in teams so when they come to their calls this way they should have phone numbers assigned they should have the license requirement okay so guys that is a um, very important okay so having said that the next thing that we want to do is to create a resource account of course that's the next step right to create a resource account so let's go on where do you create a resource account you create a resource account from the from the team's admin center so you come to the m 5 admin center then you go to show all and then you're just going to click on um, teams and it's going to land you uh here let's just click on teams and let's see where it's going to take us to okay so when you come to the team's admin center here you have this left navigation button click on it and then you come down to voice voice here you scroll down to where you have resource account down below yeah resource account here so we are going to call the resource account pillars support resource account so we just do this and then we call it pillars supports ra okay resource account and then we are just going to bring this as the email address uh we we'll just paste this here pillars.support at uh, yeah so all right so we come to resource account type so we are going to do call queue there's option for auto attendant and there's option for call queue but for what we are doing we are doing call queue so we'll just pick on call queue we click on save so this account is going to be showing on licensed and no phone number assigned on license no phone number assigned so we need to give it a license so to give it a license we come to the m365 admin center and you come to active users okay so if you come to active users and you do a refresh from here that account that we created the pillar support ra should now show up under active users but the signing is blocked because the resource account needs to have blocked sign in just in case there are issues you should know that it should not be enabled for sign in that is one of the requirements so we'll just kind of uh, quickly paste this pillar support and bring up that account hopefully it has synced to this place yes so if you click on it 
is going to show you that um, the user type is block i mean the sign in type is block and then if you look further it needs a license from what we saw in the m365 admin center so you just click on it remember the next step was for us to give it license right so that's loading remember the next step was to license the resource account okay so what we, what license do we need to give this resource account we need to give it microsoft team phone system i mean phone resource account this license the good thing about this license it, it is free it is zero you don't need to pay anything but you just need to go and buy it from the um you know uh, products and services you know so but that's not covered in this but it is very simple you should go to billing and you can just pick it up so let's move on this is the license we are giving it so we can just click on this and then we should have this license assigned and it's expected that when we come back to this place then the licensed should now be licensed then we should not be left with phone number i will show you how to get a phone number also so it has been assigned to this so let's refresh this admin center and also come and refresh this one as well so when they both refresh then we should expect that the license that we gave it to from the m 5 admin center should sync immediately to the team's admin center so let's just keep our fingers crossed while this loads up okay so Pillars support resource account is now licensed but has no phone number. So that's why the next step we want to do is to obtain phone number. Okay, so let's how do we obtain phone number? We'll come back here, right? So we'll come down to voice again and then we'll click on phone number. Now we have option to add a phone number on add and then we describe the phone number that we want. Um CQ. And then we can just copy the same thing and then put it here yes so what region do we want the phone number all my users are in the united states so i just do this and then phone number type is very important you have to now check user subscriber no that's for a user call q2 yes this is what we are looking for and then the next thing we do we have four left according to the license that i have so i will just pick one just for the purpose of this demo and then what i will do next is the city uh with this is about the emergency address so i have an emergency address set up as contoso emergency address so i'll just put that there and then it should help me now ask if i want to search the area code 425 that's what's available for me so i'll just do next and this will say thank you for your patience we are reserving the right number for you so let's just wait for this number to populate okay so the phone number is here as ending with uh, 307 so if this number i'm not okay with it i will wait for this countdown to occur and then it will go back to the number pool and bring up another one for me but since i am fine with this i don't have a preference for this so i will just click on place order so just give it a wait and then i should have that all right so it's saying your pillar support call queue has been placed the number now will be have will appear in the list of phone numbers in your available phone number right so let's just click on finish and then come back to the list of the phone numbers we have and let us click let us paste the phone number that we just got and see if it is now available in the list of the phone numbers that we have good so now that we have it we can here assign the number to that resource account by just checking this small box this small circle here and then come to edit and then what you see is assign on assign so when we come to this point we now need to look for the resource account that we want to give it to and that resource account is pillar support so uh, i expect that to come up now and then i'll just click on add so i'll click on apply so it means now that the resource account should now have phone number assigned as well as licensed right so if we just come back to resource account here we would see that of course it has already changed this is pillar support aa and it's showing that you have phone number 307 and it is licensed now what is the next step the next step is for us to create the call queue so let's go to create the call queue how do we do that right inside voice here you see that we have call queues here so we'll just click on call queues and then we click on add so the name of the call queue now it matters that we give it a name and it is pillars concept cq i mean pillar support cq right 
then the resource account that we are going to have to add to this remember that we have it as pillars concepts all right that's the resource account so we're just going to add it and then the next thing we do is to click on add right so resource account has been added so what is going to be the language of the what is going to be the language of the call queue so we are going to be using english united states okay agents can make outbound call agents can make outbound call using the phone number on the forward on the following resource accounts yeah so the same resource accounts is what we've just add here um pillar supports resource account so they can make outbound call with it so we just add okay so and the language is english so everything here is set the next thing we do is to click on this and then talking about greeting we can add audio but i just want us to put a greeting message and i have typed the greeting message here before we started so i'm just going to copy this and paste it there and paste it here okay so saying thank you for calling pillars concepts your connection your connection to exceptional service tag here uh, i think i want to remove this just to make it short so please hold on why this yeah i think this is fine by me so let's just uh for this other one to music on hold play default music if they are on hold so choose a team so this will add the team that we created that we added those users so i think it's pillars it's pillars um, support that we name that team so it will just go to the pool of the teams that we have in the tenant and bring the pillars concept pillars supports queue so we just click on add and the channel that we want to add is a general channel so we just click on apply so the next thing is um choose user no i'm using a team right so this is the conference mode if i want to turn that on i just leave it then this is the the this discuss about how the calls are going to be routed so if you want the call to ring all the agent at it at the same time you can leave it at uh, attendee routing is used so the first call in the queue will ring all the agents at the same time the first call agent to pick up the call gets the call of course i just want it to be there okay so for serial routing it's going to ring one after the other to see who is going to pick then um, longest I do as well is to see who is most available, who was available the longest without getting a call. Why the round robin? When round robin routing is used, each call agent will get the same number of call for call queue. So that's what this is. But I think this attender routing, ringing everybody and the first to pick gets the call is just fine by us. So I uh, haven't looked at that. So then we can just quickly look at. Um, uh, this call agent a lot time 30 seconds which is fine so we can do next and then call flow let's look at what's in the call flow maximum call that can be on the queue waiting and if the maximum call is reached do you want the call to be redirected to where do you want it to be redirected to somebody in your organization or do you want it to be redirected to another call queue or something you can decide to set that up or you can say if the maximum number of call on the queue is complete then the call should get disconnected depends on what you want to set then coming to this other place call timeouts how many minutes do you want the call to be ringing on the queue waiting for the agent to pick up the call you may want to set this this is 20 minutes so you may just want to say okay maybe even if it is 45 seconds you want the call to save or if you want it to be one hour for the five minutes depends on what you want to set right then what happens when the call times out do you want it to disconnect also or you want it to be redirected to somebody in your organization you can decide to do that you can send it to another call queue you can even try to put it to an external number phone number you can do you can do settings that actually please you with this so you can just say let it disconnect just to keep it simple so the next thing we want to just look at is um, apply setting only to new calls when call agents available you know all of those so let's just do next so at the end of the day uh we can just this is optional setting so i think we are done let's just hit on submit and we should expect pillars um, support queue or call queue to be ready okay so submit so pillars um support call queue is now available so what i want us to do is to bring up one of the users that is a part of that team of that call queue and let's just refresh the user's account and see if it's going to have that team in his own teams right uh and see what's going to be available 
one will try to make the call and see if that call queue is now ready so let's just click on the teams that this user belongs remember that we had it we had it add all to the to the group so let's see um let's see if we have pillars concept yeah pillar support here so if you come to the general channel here go it so you're going to see calls here the reason is because we have configured that this user should be able to make call outside of the organization so if he wants to make a call she has option to select either calling by herself or calling from the call queue this is something that is very important that you want to check but let's move on first and let's just uh, quickly see how a call that is coming to the call queue can ring adele and other members of the team um, it's going to be a bit rowdy this time but just try to understand the concept because once i place a call then the call is going to ring and it's going to place a little a little bit of disturbance to you so you may want to reduce your volume when the call starts ringing so this is more that mean trying to call those one of their call queue and the call queue should ring all the members of the team okay so let's just quickly call this phone number uh this is the number right now but remember that remember that adele for example has a phone number and her phone number is 219 which is different from what we are going to call that's what i want you to know so even the other users as well if you check if you check this is uh this is even who is also a part of the team and you see that his own phone number is ending with six seven so this is never in any way his phone number that's what i wanted to take note of so let's look now and try to call this phone number and see what happens <laughs> Thank you. Your connection to exceptional service starts here. Please hold the line, and one of our friendly support superheroes will be with you shortly. So this is the call ringing Evering. Can you see Evering? If I take this to this point, uh, you also see the call is ringing Adele as well at the same time. Can you see the calls coming in? So it's saying that uh, more than me is calling you. So in all, this is how call queue is set up and the agent can decide to call out from the call queue. If you like the content that you see and if there's any confusion at all, you can let me know and I'll be happy to give you the brief description and explanation to let you see how this works so just to summarize before we wrap it up uh, we created uh, pillars concepts call queue and then we added these three users to it we created a team we created a resource account we licensed the resource account we obtained license we obtained a phone number and assigned the phone number to the resource account then we created the call queue with this message so if you learned anything from this video and you are getting confused please just drop the com the question on the comment section and i'll be very very happy to quickly come on the screen and respond to your queries so thank you very much for your time and have a wonderful day peace